I recently stumbled upon this scroll-based thumbnail animation on Dribbble, and I thought to myself, wow, that's rather nifty. So, we're going to see what it takes to recreate this effect, and here is ours. So, let's go ahead and break it down. The weapons of choice for this particular effect are going to be HTML and CSS, along with the Greensock animation platform, and of course, good old JavaScript. Now also, note, the full code source is available on CodePen and the link is in the YouTube description. First, let's tackle the HTML markup for these cards. We're gonna need an overall card container to hold our image and description. For the thumbnail itself, we'll need two HTML elements. One will be nested inside the other, and you'll see how they'll work together to structure the card properly for the effect. And finally, we have a paragraph at the bottom. For the CSS, we're only going to focus on the image container. The image container itself only needs two properties, which is position relative and a height. The relative position will allow the nested thumbnail inside of it to keep the correct position. Then, the image thumbnail itself is position absolute. This allows us to apply transformations onto the thumbnail without affecting the other HTML elements. The background size is also larger at 170%. We'll animate that back down to 100% with Greensock, and also not shown here is the actual background image URL, so you'll want to include that as well. Now, for the JavaScript, we'll first want to include both GSAP and the GSAP Scroll Trigger plugin. This will allow us to trigger our animations based on scroll. Now let's also get a reference to all of our cards through document.query selector all, and then we'll create a new timeline with the scroll trigger settings. The trigger property is targeting a class called work that surrounds our cards, and this is our scroll trigger reference point. The start and end values instruct the scroll trigger when to start and end our animations. And finally, setting scrub to one makes the animations dependent on scroll location as opposed to time itself. Underneath that code block, we're going to iterate over each of our cards. Now, because I want the rotation and position of each of the card to be random, we'll use math.floor and random to set a positive and negative range of random numbers. Next, we're gonna use the from method on our timeline and target each image. We set the rotation X and Y position to random values that we specified above. And we also set a negative one so that the cards will all animate in at the same time. We then chain another method setting the background size back to 100% from the initial 170% value we set in CSS. And here's the final result. I think it's pretty awesome. And again, the full code is available at CodePen. If you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX, CSS, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning fun and easy.